The Battle of the Bulge, also known as the Ardennes Offensive, was a pivotal World War II military engagement that took place in the winter of 1944 and 1945, fought primarily in the Ardennes region of Belgium and Luxembourg. This battle marked a significant turning point in the war, particularly on the Western Front. It was a desperate attempt by the German military to turn the tide of the war in their favor by launching a surprise counteroffensive against the Allied forces. By late 1944, the Allies had gained significant ground in Europe and were pushing the Germans back on multiple fronts. The situation for Germany was dire and their leaders saw an opportunity to strike back. The German High Command, led by Field Marshal Gerd von Rundstedt, devised a plan to launch a massive offensive through the Ardennes Forest. This forested and hilly region was lightly defended by the Allies, as they believed the terrain would hinder large-scale enemy movements. On December 16, 1944, the German forces launched their surprise attack. The offensive was characterized by a sudden and intense artillery barrage, followed by a massed assault of infantry and armor. The Germans hoped to catch the Allied forces off guard, break their lines, and then swiftly advance to the vital port city of Antwerp, effectively splitting the Allied forces and disrupting their supply lines. The initial stages of the battle were marked by swift German progress, the American forces in the Ardennes were taken by surprise, and some units were quickly surrounded or forced into retreat. The Germans, however, faced difficulties due to bad weather that limited air support, slowed their progress, and made resupplying their advancing units challenging. One of the most iconic episodes of the Battle of the Bulge was the defense of Bastogne, a town located as a critical road junction. The town was surrounded by German forces and the American 101st Airborne Division found themselves under siege. When the German commander demanded the American surrender, Brigadier General Anthony McAuliffe famously replied with a one-word answer, nuts. This defiant response symbolized the resolute determination of the Allied forces in the face of overwhelming odds. As the battle progressed into late December, the weather improved, allowing the Allied air forces to intervene and hamper German resupply efforts. The combination of determined defense, disrupted supply lines, and reinforced Allied counterattacks started to slow down the German advance. The initial momentum of the offensive began to wane. By the end of December, the Battle of the Bulge had entered a critical phase. The German offensive had created a bulge, or salient, in the Allied lines, leading to the battle's popular nickname. However, the situation was far from hopeless for the Allies. In the second part of this series, we will delve into the pivotal moments that shifted the balance of power in the battle and led to the eventual defeat of the German offensive. As the battle progressed, the tide began to turn against the Germans due to a combination of factors that shifted the balance of power in favor of the Allies. By the end of December 1944, the weather had improved, allowing the Allied air forces to play a crucial role in the battle. The resumption of air support meant that the Germans could no longer move and resupply their forces with impunity. Allied planes targeted German supply lines, communication centers, and troop concentrations, hampering their ability to sustain the offensive. Another significant factor was the resilience of the besieged town of Bastogne. The American defenders, including elements of the 101st Airborne Division, held out tenaciously despite being encircled by German forces. The besieged forces received vital supplies and reinforcements through airdrops, allowing them to continue resisting the determined defense of Bastogne served as a rallying point for the Allied forces and further slowed the German advance. In late December and early January, the Allies began to launch a series of counterattacks aimed at pushing the Germans back. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied commander, directed his commanders to capitalize on the weakening German offensive. 
The coordinated efforts of American, British, and Canadian forces managed to stabilize the front lines and push back against the German salient. One of the key turning points in the battle came on January 3, 1945, when the American 1st and 3rd Armies, under the command of Generals Courtney Hodges and George S. Patton respectively, launched a joint counter-offensive. This counter-attack aimed to eliminate the German bulge and restore the original Allied front line. General Patton's 3rd Army played a particularly significant role in this counter-offensive, utilizing his renowned skills in armored warfare and exploiting gaps in the German lines. Patton's forces executed a rapid and aggressive advance. They managed to break through the German defenses and drive deep into their rear areas. The success of this maneuver caught the Germans off guard and resulted in the encirclement of several German divisions. Simultaneously, other Allied units were also making gains, putting additional pressure on the Germans. By late January, the German offensive had been effectively thwarted and the Allies had not only managed to repel the enemy's advance, but also created a bulge of their own into the German lines. The initiative had shifted decisively in favor of the Allies. The Battle of the Bulge officially ended on January 25, 1945, as the American and British forces linked up in the vicinity of Hofelis, Belgium. The battle had been a costly engagement for both sides. The Germans suffered heavy losses in terms of personnel, equipment and morale, hastening the decline of their military capabilities. The Allies, too, experienced significant casualties, but their ability to withstand the surprise offensive and turn the situation around showcased their resilience and determination. The Battle of the Bulge was not only a military victory for the Allies, but also a psychological blow to the Germans. The failed offensive shattered their hopes of a successful last-ditch effort to reverse the course of the war. The battle marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany, as the Allies continued to push eastward, eventually leading to the defeat of Germany in May 1945. The Battle of the Bulge had a profound impact on both the military and political landscape of World War II. While the battle was a strategic defeat for the Germans, it showcased their ability to mount a large-scale surprise offensive even during a time when their situation seemed dire. It also highlighted the importance of strategic intelligence, as the Allies were caught off guard initially due to German deception operations. As the Allies pushed forward after the Battle of the Bulge, they continued to liberate occupied territories and uncover the horrors of the Holocaust in concentration and extermination camps. The German surrender in May 1945 marked the end of World War II in Europe. The lessons learned from the battle, both tactical and strategic, would influence military thinking in the post-war years. In conclusion, the Battle of the Bulge was a pivotal engagement that showcased both the resilience of the Allied forces and the desperation of the German military in the waning days of World War II. The battle's lessons continue to influence military strategy and historical understanding, underscoring its lasting impact on the course of the war and the world that followed. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. See you soon in next video.